Hi everybody, this is James from Sonic Alchemy and Makerspace. Today we're going to talk a little bit about another update on the 101 Hero and a little idea of what's coming up. So let's get started. All right, I got some work progress on the 101. Managed to get it printing, did a lot of supports on it. I did a couple tests. I did a bend sheet, and I'll try to show you right there, right now. As you can see, there's a little bit of wobble, or maybe you didn't see if I have it. Um, so I think there's a problem with the Z axis. Uh, I'm not really good. I'm just learning all this stuff. So if you've got some ideas of tips or tricks on how to deal with Z-axis wobble on a Delta printer, please leave a comment down below. Love to hear that. You guys help me greatly. I love to hear what you have to say, advice, and any of that. Um, though it is printing, I'll show you some things that I printed on it recently. But it's also printing for the Progressive project, and I managed to get a few new parts for that, and that would be this thing here, this one here. It slides, it moves this way, it moves that way. Wait, hold on, it moves that way, it moves that way, that way, that way, yeah. That's about 32 millimeters, that one. There's another one, it's a little over 40, or around 40 millimeters. Doesn't have a carriage on it, but it can be strapped up. Yeah, there's another one. And lastly, there's this one, which kind of looks perfect for, you could almost just mount a hot end on there. And, you know, with a little bit of an adjustment, and there you go, that's your... Y-axis? Hey, cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, you probably get the idea. That's for to use that one to rep strap a, a bigger platform for larger products. Um, and I managed to get in the mail the E3 uh, V6. I'll show you that in a second. And I printed up a mount for that. And that's got everything for a Bowden setup and the extruder waiting on a motor and a couple of other things to set that up. And I'm going to try that out on the Delta, on the 101 Hero slash Zero. See how that goes. People have said you can use that. And the last thing that I want to mention before I show you some things that I printed was that I've had to tether it to the computer the whole time. So every time I want to print, that means my laptop is doing that and that's it. I've had a couple of times where things froze up and I lost a print in the middle. I guess typical stuff that anything that any 3D printer has to go through. So... Uh, hopefully these and things like that will be leading to something that's bigger and more reliable. Okay, let's take a look at some of the things that I printed on it, talk a little bit about what's going on, and maybe a couple of spoilers. Okay, here's a couple of examples of things that I've printed on the Hero 101. As you can see, a little bit of a spoiler for an upcoming project, but have a look. Sorry, holding the phone here. Looks all right. This is also a simple little print. It's not perfect, it's not beautiful, but for what I need, it's functional. So those are a couple of examples of things I've printed on the Hero 101. And there are some other ideas that are coming up. But this is definitely a step in the process. And finally, 
The printer has been on my desk in the middle of everything, so it needed a new place to live. Plus, I started to notice some issues with temperature. It's not a heated plate. There's no hot heat bed. So, this room's a bit drafty. So I came up with this to put it in. Let's have a look here. This is a little bit of a front. This is an improvised thing. And that's where the spool can live. And that's the printer. And it's enclosed. And it's got some openings up here. I don't know if you can really see that. But there's some openings in here. So that's EVA foam. And it's living in there. That's a little bit more temperature controlled. And so the spool can come up and over through the guides in there. So we're going to give that a try. Uh, next thing is to get a display, a 2004 LCD controller for it, so that it can be controlled from that and print from the SD card. I never had any luck with the stock SD card reader. I think it's broken or faulty. So the next thing that will be coming is the 2004 LCD controller that goes right into the SD slot that's already on the board and works. So we'll give that a try, see how that goes, and hopefully there will be no more tethered printing. So that's pretty much where we are with the 101 right now. I'm waiting for the stepper motor and I'll be uh, printing out a few more things I need for parts and then looking to switch it to a different hot end and then probably use this one to build a bigger one because a lot of the things I want to print are just not possible on this. Either the bed is too small or it does great with vertical. And I'll give you a show of what I did vertically. But if you try to lay a print down, it's to try to get a decent print for calibration and anything like that that's spread out on the small build plate doesn't work. So here's what I did vertically and it came out okay. Okay, for all you Star Wars nerds, I am one too, but before you start telling me it's backwards, I know that's another problem. I think it's this model, but these are two separate models. And for some reason, it's printing this. I'm printing it like this, but it's printing it backwards. Both of these came out decent. But again, I printed them both like this. Problems with the support material. I need a fan also on the part. And that will be another thing that's going to be coming shortly. But... That's pretty much the best that this printer is going to do. Anything more, and I think you're asking for miracles, or ooh, it starts to become not what it was. That's where I am. What do you think? Any suggestions for dealing with Z-axis wobble, or the fact that when I load it up in Cura, and then print it on the 101, it prints backwards, even though on this one, it showed up correctly in Cura when I put it in and sliced it. And then when it printed, it printed backwards. Anybody know, please leave a comment down there, please. I could use the help. I'm being a noob, but I could use the help. Thanks, guys.
If you like that, please like down below, little button, and subscribe to stay informed. Thanks, guys. Keep making.